You know, through my four years of high school, I've had many opportunities to take initiative, and I believe that these experiences have helped me develop into a good leader today. One of the th things that really stands out about Amanda is she's very artistic. If you ask her to design a banner to publicize an event, just the, the artwork that she does, is, it's absolutely immaculate. In grade nine, when I applied for student council, I applied for the role of visual publicity, which is to make banners to advertise student council events. So I had applied and I brought a huge portfolio of my best work, which impressed the SAC advisors and other student council members. My main extracurricular interaction with her has been through student council. As a leader, I am designated to a small group of grade nines and I show them around the school and I also tell them about the school, you know, clubs, and try to just try to make them feel welcome so they won't be scared for their first year of high school. I do consider myself a leader, but I wouldn't consider myself a leader as the one that would like tell people what to do and I would encourage them and make sure they enjoy what they're doing and listen to their suggestions. Daniel stands out from other students because his style of leadership is he doesn't take it, it's given to him. And that's because everyone knows that they can trust Daniel with the choices he makes, the decisions he makes as well. Daniel has also volunteered to mentor some of our younger students and he truly cares about them. And I see that with all that he does when he works with them with their play skills. I feel like school is like our family. So we all have to help out and that's what makes me go above and beyond. Daniel pretty much runs our entire tech crew here and anytime, certainly I know that when I have a problem, I call Mrs. Brown. Can I have Daniel please for a few minutes? Yes, I consider myself a leader because I help other students, I encourage them and I always try my best in everything. I'm probably the most proud of helping out with the younger students at the school because I know that I'm making their school life easier and I'm helping prevent things that could hurt them. One of the things she was planning in health class this year was uh, to create a presentation to deliver to the junior students on the topic of bullying. We're put into groups and each group had a topic, like a different type of bullying or something has to do with bullying. In my group I had self-esteem, so we did exercises with junior students about how to raise self-esteem and get their self-esteem high. She's outstanding, like I said, academically and socially. So socially, she's that role model for everybody else in the class. She really exemplifies the ideal student. I would like to be seen as a student who helps everyone out and never puts anyone down. They just always make people feel great. When I first came to school, I was in grade one and I was very quiet for about four years, five years and I don't want that to happen in high school. I want to be a loud person and I want to be a leader and I want to show other people that I can be something. When I sat down with Hamza to talk about this award, one of the first things he said to me was just how grateful he was because he said, if you had known me a few years ago, he said, you would have called me one of the bad kids. I was with the bad crowd, I didn't do nice things and I didn't really care much about my schoolwork. My friends changed me in grades seven and six, and this year I've taken their leadership and turned it to mine. So I try to help my friends just as they help me, and I try to make other people leaders too. I've already got honor roll this term, but next term if I get honor roll, they're gonna call my name when I graduate and say, Ham Siddiqui with honor, and that's a really, really big goal for me. I'm definitely motivated by seeing other people's success and that makes me want to succeed as well. I'm a very uh, go big or go home kind of person so I think it's important to have a lot of ambition but you have to back it up with a lot of determination. I guess I nominated Kelsey for the Student Success Award based on her body of work. She's been here for four years and in those four years she's had a real variety of different roles. Well I'm a part of Student Council and we run Relay for Life every year which is one of our biggest events raising money for the Canadian Cancer Society. On a personal level I've been involved a lot in the arts so different musicals that we've had whether it's I've performed in them, I assisted, directed one, especially just with this program, the Arts Huron program. It's incredible um, what it's done for me like on a confidence level. It's it really, you don't just grow as an artist, you grow as a person, and it's one of the most amazing opportunities, if not the most 
amazing opportunity that I've had to date. I would say the largest impact uh, that Kelsey's had both in our school and our community is through engagement. And that starts with herself, I guess, getting engaged in things that are going on, but also getting students and community members involved. I want to be seen as a student that is not only academically strong, but can also work with a variety of people. First, I started a donation for the ME class when they were kind of talking that they needed blankets and toys and books. He realized that our kids needed these things. He didn't have to ask for permission, and he wanted to make it a surprise by doing it secretly and planning it as a Christmas drive. But the fact that Anish had did this on his own, contacted his teacher and the principal, found out what the class needed, and just really initiated everything shows a great maturity about a kid that age. Anish was nominated for student success because he is a well-rounded leader uh, who has made change uh, within a variety of contexts. I'm most proud of the donation drive as it is. It not only made me feel happy, it made everyone around me feel happy because they got what they needed. My class even felt joyous as they felt that they also made an accomplishment themselves as they helped in it. The impact of my actions this year throughout many different projects that we've done in Peer Mentor, such as raising money for the Yellow Brick House or the Something for Sarah event or even the Terry Fox run that I ran at the beginning of the year, we've raised about $8,000 towards all those organizations. So I think that's a really great contribution we've made with this school to other parts of the community. I thought Sydney fit the description really well of the Celebrating Student Success campaign. I mean, not just in terms of the leadership that she does, but in the way that she wants to do things that are so selfless and so mindful of, of others and not just of her goals. What motivates me to go above and beyond, you could say, in my school and personal life, is just knowing that whatever I'm doing, it could make an impact on somebody without me even knowing it. She's incredibly determined. I mean, from day one, when she sets her mind that this is something that she has to do, she does it and she sees it through. and. It, Whatever obstacles happen, she just keeps, keeps going through with it. As a leader, I want to be able to motivate other people to really take action and make positive impacts on the lives around them. We had an idea this past semester, and it was called a We Create Change campaign. And it's when we brought this campaign into the school that we wanted to encourage the staff and student body to bring in change and help our school building project in Ghana. Brennan's focus is volunteerism. It's all about helping other people. So for instance, he's traveled to China, Kenya, Ecuador, and India and helped to build schools and health resources there. The impact that I have on other people and seeing that positive impact being created is really what motivates me. Because through the actions that I take, if I'm able to at least change one person's life for the better, that's what really defines success, and that defines achievement. At Richmond Hill, we're very proud of Brennan, and we find that he's made such a positive impact on our student body and an understanding of the importance of volunteering. Since last year and also this year, we've had several visitors come to our school just to talk about teamwork and about being fair and about standing up to bullying. She has written um, a couple of letters to our administration expressing her concern about uh, students' mental health and the issue of bullying, not just in our school, but in schools throughout York Region and indeed Ontario. I'm proud that the school has had visitors come and show the students more what bullying is and it's still going on even if they don't think it is. She's been part of so many teams and clubs and she has helped improve those clubs just by merely being there with her enthusiasm. And she is also one of those students that any teacher in the school can call upon at the last minute to get a job done. I feel that there's not enough people who understand that everyone needs someone to talk to, but I'm trying to be a person who people can just come and approach me and talk to me if they need to. And I just want to be there for someone. I'm most proud of being student council president because, you know, when I was in grade nine, never would have thought I could do that. I kind of decided to take that role as a challenge to myself. It's been a great learning experience for me. A lot of students here will look up to him as a role model for being able to demonstrate that leadership in many different areas and not having to have just strong academics or just school involvement or just athletic involvement and I think that's one of the qualities that makes him such a remarkable leader. You know all the things that student council, peer mentor, Relay for Life, 
Bullying Prevention Committee, all of those things are trying to reach out to people. And peer mentors, I've made friends in lower grades and showed them that they don't really need to be afraid of people in the older grades because we can be nice too, we're not scary. Jake just loves learning. He really likes to share that love of learning and he fosters that love of learning and I think that makes him a, a very successful student. The accomplishment that I'm most proud of is when I won my school's speech competition with my speech on issues girls face around the world. So after I won my school's speech competition, I was featured on the Because I'm a Girl blog. And Because I'm a Girl is basically just an organization that empowers women and girls in the third world. I started a blog called Divya Lives Here, and it's been viewed in 14 different countries. The biggest joy for me teaching Divya has also been the biggest challenge for me teaching Divya. Answering her myriad questions, knowing that there are going to be numerous questions behind those questions. One goal that I'd like to achieve is to make girls and boys to be seen as equals, but I know that I probably won't be able to make our world totally perfect, but I at least want to make a difference. She achieves these things through sheer determination. She doesn't give up. If someone tells her, no, this can't be done, she says, no, no, it can't be done that way. I'm going to find another way to get it done. I do consider myself a leader because I try to get involved as many things as I can in the school, like not just with my friends but with little kids to make it as best experience for everyone as it can be. She's a, a leader by role model and uh, she encourages others. She brings other people into whatever job we're doing or whatever activity she's involved in. I think people just naturally gravitate towards her because she is so approachable. At the moment, I'm really interested in the nutritional value of foods and what are they really advertising on TV and on the package and helping people like see that it's not really what they say. It's gratifying to have a student uh, say thank you when you spend time with them, which Jaden always does. I would like to be a student that you can come up to ask me questions, that I can help anybody that's just nice and wanting to talk to or will play with if you feel like you're alone. I consider myself as a leader when I do speeches for kids with disabilities to, and I tell them that even if they have a disability, they can do anything that they set their minds to basically. This year Ty's been the ambassador for Easter Seals and that means he represents kids not just in our school and in Markham and York Region but across the entire province and so as a school we nominated Ty and we're very proud of the work that he's done representing all kinds of students and children with disabilities. Uh, for example, students are always bringing in pop tabs. I collect pop can tabs to raise awareness for kids with disabilities and I decided to start up that program again with collecting pop, different pop cans and the school is doing very well. Ty's one of those kids that when he wheels down the hall everybody knows Ty's name and what he stands for in terms of leadership in our school. As long as the kid with a disability has a determination, they can do whatever that they set their minds to. Yes, I do consider myself a leader. As team captain of some of the sports teams, I like to encourage some of my teammates to go at their fullest to do better. I like to ask questions and answer questions in the classroom. I think it encourages other people to do the same. One of the impacts of Kishana's actions has been that she's raised the standard for the children around her, both as students, but also as young people of character. Every day I'm determined to do my best. My family has really supported me through all my life, my academic life, my social life, my sports life. I actually asked some of Kishana's classmates to say the words that describe her the best, and the words they chose were athletic, intelligent, adorable, and humble. And I think that really speaks for itself if, you know, those are the words that, that, that her friends choose to describe her. I try and show courage in class, so like the younger kids and even the older kids will look up to me and see me as the leader and see me as responsible. I have a student sports center with grade three to grade eight and the younger students gravitate to TJ. They follow his recommendations, they go to him for feedback. The way I can describe the student support center, it's fun and it's that one place that 
anybody can go to if they don't feel comfortable and if they want to feel safe there. I think for TJ, this award has been very overwhelming and he was very surprised that he was nominated for it. But the outcome of him being nominated, the outcome of him receiving this award, especially celebrating his student success, has made him feel that he's made this effort worthy for him. This award means, it just told me that I've been successful in school and in grade eight. As a peer mentor on the mentor program, I also you know, helped a lot of grade nine students you know, transition into high school as well. I'm, I'm still friends with a lot of them. I tutored some of them as well. So I think that in the end, I hope to see a lot of my legacy left over in the school. Frank is an outstanding student because I think he has a sound set of values, a strong uh, sense of character, and I believe his priorities are in the right place. I'm the type of person who, like, if I want something, if I want a goal, I have a dream or something, I don't really, I never give up on it. I always keep trying to fight for it, so in, in the end, I think it's just, when I have a goal, I just set myself to achieve that goal no matter what. I think a very large piece for our school this year as well was around the work he did with regard to elevating our sense of community through the video production in which he engaged both to support grade 8 students and grade 9 students. My ambition in the end is that I want to leave something, something significant, something that inspires others to be leaders, something that inspires others to be more than they can be. I think that's ultimately my goal for everything, life, school, yeah, just leaving that legacy behind. In class, when we have group works or partner works, I usually kind of take at least a bigger role. So I share my ideas and I try my best to accept others. I always make sure everyone gets a say in it. The impact of Maddie's actions can be felt around the school. She's just a very dependable person that can be a cornerstone to any project or initiative. For a couple of years, we've had what we've called the Cupcake Club and they've used their own initiative and time to raise money for cancer research. Well, with Cupcake Club, we've raised a lot of money for the Terry Fox Fund. And then with the Recycling Club and everything, we've used a lot of reusable parts, and that's coming along really well. Her commitment to her learning, her sort of indomitable spirit, her ability to sort of keep going even when things aren't going well for her. I think that she's raised awareness and people's commitments to what you can do to affect change in, in your local area or even internationally. I'd like to be seen as a student who can inspire other students to do what they like doing best and to do it successfully. Copeland has put uh, many plans into action. One event specifically is uh, Rachel's Kids, which is a nonprofit organization. And he was part of a group of students who were interested in raising funds for this nonprofit organization. The Trace of Hope Project, which was a student run initiative that I started, and it was to raise money for the Rachel's Kids Foundation, which is an organization that raises funds for children in South Asia. In total, I was able to raise over $300. It's interesting to present Koglin with an idea or a challenge and just watching his eyes really brighten at the new possibility and the opportunity to tackle something uh, foreign. I would like to see myself in five years in a career that I enjoy doing, not just one that other people want me to do, but something that I myself find happiness in. I would like to be seen as a student that is hardworking and passionate about what they do, that I'm not in all these different projects just for the credit of it, that I'm, I really want to work on stuff like this to change my school community. And she's a part of Eco Club, she's a part of BAM, she's a part of the MILK program, the announcement, so all of the kids in the school know her, and they know her especially as Madame Lumiere, so for the Eco Club she encourages kids to turn lights off and, and save energy. So at the beginning I've noticed that all the classes had their lights on to full power and I never really knew why we had to save energy and then after a couple of weeks I would arrive to the classes and the lights were already turned off. I've been doing the environment club here for many years and Stephanie's been a, a vital part of it and she also has been involved with, the, with our Healthy Schools team. She's kind of the, I would say, the perfect kid, perfect student. She's just got a great attitude and she's enthusiastic and she's always willing to help. You know, I always want to be the leader just because I feel like I have something to give to the students and I want to help them out too. I wasn't born here, I was born in Afghanistan, so I've always grown up with, with that feeling that like I've been given an opportunity, you know, I've been given a chance to have an education and you know, to live my life and be, and be free. Massey believes that students should get involved and when he speaks to the student body at any time, whether it's the beginning of the year in September or assemblies throughout the year, he'll always say Raiders get involved, you need to get involved. 
As a result, our student body is so highly engaged. We have over 67 formal clubs running in the school. The teams are running. Students are encouraged to form ad hoc clubs and Massey oversees all of it. Instead of having a goal, you should have a direction. And you know, goals will come and go along the way, but like my ultimate direction, again, is just, just to help people and help the ones in need who, who don't have anybody to take care of them. I think that's, that's ultimately the direction that I want to take and whatever goals coming by, they come by. The Eco Club is a much bigger, broader thing now and we've helped to sell trees and make a bigger difference in the environment throughout our town and neighborhood. Emma is a leader because for one she doesn't have to conform. So one of the things I've noticed and I've appreciated about Emma is just that she's willing to take risk, look different, and follow her passion rather than follow the crowd. I do a lot with the Eco Club. Basically, I am like the leader of the poster team. So I help make posters to advertise things and I help to show the kids different techniques with everything that they're doing. She uh, puts others before herself quite often, so there's a real selfless tendency with, with Emma, and so that's something that's so rare, that she's not doing it so that she's going to be, you know, she's going to get something out of it. Quite often it's done sincerely, and she's doing things for others because she truly cares and loves others and, and loves the environment. I have Emma's Lemons. It's a lemonade stand for charity, and I sell lemonade to raise money for Georgina Cares so that all kids can play sports. To be honest, I wasn't a very outgoing person before and getting involved in school activities like I am right now is actually kind of challenging. And I was kind of discontent with being like an introvert and that's when I started to make, to wanting to make some changes. What makes Fanny stand out in this school is the fact that she's very quiet, but she's very effective. She sees a need and she goes out to try to fulfill that need. I, being an executive of the Octagon Club, I have organized audiobook recording for the ESL class. Uh, so basically we ask people to uh, record their voice of reading different chapters and we make an audiobook out of those people's recordings. The school has provided me with a platform to do that. Um, I would never be able to make those accomplishments without the help of my parents, my teachers, and also my friends. So I really do appreciate their support, and they have given me so much motivation. My involvement in the school community exists through the form of BOSS, which is our student council at the school, and it also involves myself as a peer tutor, myself as someone who tries to achieve the highest academic standings that I can like, try to fulfill my potential to the best value I can. He's a quiet leader, uh, a motivator, certainly a role model, who consistently strives for excellence and to make a difference. Right now I'm on a boss as treasurer, so I make sure that our budgeting goes as planned, our fiscal responsibility is kept in check, and I make sure that the events go really smoothly. We are very privileged at our school to have students who, who, are, who have heart and soul and who want to make a difference. And when I see students around me are involved in the school that, and like our spirit events are being carried out successfully and the students are happy with what they see in the school and what their role in the school is, that's when we know that we've been successful uh, in our role on the Board of Student Senators. Right before the winter break this year we had an assembly and at the assembly, it was run by GSA, which I am president of. As the last presentation, the GSA went up and we did a rap to Same Love. So telling that story and just being loud and proud of it in front of 500 students in the gymnasium, that's probably one of my biggest accomplishments because I felt like it made a difference to the school and it gave me comfort to know that my story has been told. Over the years, I mean, now he's in grade 12 and he's been involved in student council every year of his um, high school career. He has been part of the GSA, the Gay Straight Alliance, with me for the last uh, three years and he's just phenomenal. I mean, he, people gravitate toward him and he's just very positive so I think that makes an excellent leader. My fight for equity in the school has really 
change the way that people see each other and that people see people of any sort of diversity. The students definitely respect each other more and I feel like the barriers that have divided students in the past have now almost been disintegrated completely. I think John, because he is uh, continually working toward being the best version of himself that he can possibly be, he is my definition of success, absolutely.